we want to look at buffer solutions. Buffer solutions resist pH changes, and they're very important for biological systems. We have a couple of buffer systems in our body that keep pH within a reasonable range. If the pH gets out of a reasonable range for our body, our proteins will start to denature and we can die. We use um, buffer systems for a variety of other purposes in industrial scale um, processes. So a buffer will change pH, but uh, it usually changes about a maximum of one pH unit from its center point. Uh, it's made, buffer is made by a conjugate weak acid base system. So a weak acid in its conjugate base or a weak base in its conjugate acid. To make a buffer solution, we want to find a source of the weak acid and its conjugate base. So um, here we can use acetic acid and sodium acetate. So in the water, sodium acetate disassociates and provides with the acetate ion, which is the conjugate base of acetic acid. Um, carbonic acid and potassium bicarbonate. So again, the potassium bicarbonate, as it dissolves in solution, will give us our bicarbonate ion, the conjugate base of carbonic acid. We can also do a weak base and the salt of a weak base. So ammonia is a weak base, and ammonium chloride is a salt of a weak base. So when we dissolve the ammonium chloride in solution, we will form the ammonium ion, which is the conjugate acid of ammonia. Now, when we look for our salts, there are certain ions that we prefer. So for the cations, we like the alkaline metal ions and the alkaline earth ions. For the anions, oops, anions are down here. For the anions, chloride, bromide, iodide, nitrate, uh, perchlorate, and these work, the alkaline metals and alkaline earth metals are the positive ions of strong bases. Sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide. So the cations of strong bases do not affect the pH of solutions. The anions, again, are the counter ions of strong acids, hydrochloric acid, hydrochloric acid, hydroiodic acid, nitric acid. So these anions of strong acids also do not affect the uh, pH of solution. So we know that uh, Ka, Kb are inversely related. So the acid strength and the conjugate base strength are inversely related. So the stronger one is, the weaker the other one is. So if we get to, up to the point of a strong acid or a strong base, its counter ion is negligible as an acid base. So it does not affect the pH of solution. Another way that we can make our buffer solutions, we can take a weak acid and add a strong base to it. So we can take our um, acetic acid and add some sodium hydroxide to it. But the key being that the moles of the weak acid has to be strong, bigger than the strong base. So we can't neutralize all of the weak acid. So we have to end up with some weak acid and some neutralized weak acid. Same thing with the base, we could do a weak base plus a strong acid. We take ammonia and add hydrochloric acid to it. We'll be forming the ammonium chloride in the process. And again, we have to make sure that the moles of the weak base are larger than the moles of the strong acid. So we end up with some weak base and some of the conjugate acid. So a question from the worksheet, what can we add to ammonia to make a buffer solution? So we can add salts. such as our ammonium chloride, ammonium bromide, ammonium nitrate. We can also add acids. So our hydrochloric acid, hydroiodic acid, uh, nitric acid and again with these 
these have to be in smaller amounts. So we don't use up all of the ammonia when we um, convert some of it into the conjugate acid. 